Namaste. Welcome. My name is Jovina and a big welcome to you and thank you so much for joining us uh, this blessed fest event. I'm recording the class outdoor and behind me is the Pacific Ocean and I don't know if you can hear but there's birds around me and sometimes they will fly behind me or in front of me and I hope the beauty of nature can also add to this offering what I hope during my class what I hope to offer is a sense of um, slowing down applying some gentleness and becoming more and more aware of our breath and movement and hopefully through the slowness and through the paying attention of the breath there is a sense of restoring or restorative aspect to the practice and restoring our mind body back to equilibrium back to a sense of harmonious i think i find it really important during this time of our of our of our life with all the strangeness that is going on right now that we can rely on our practice to bring us back to this place where we feel a sense of ourselves and we will feel that we can feel a sense of peace and calm so during the class if you uh, like to use some props like a blanket a block and a cushion to support your practice um, might be this is a good time to gather them if you don't have them also during the class uh, i invite you to keep continue and keep listening to your body and respect and trust what you need so if what i'm offering is not what you need please give yourself permission to do something different during the class so we shall begin with a centering so come into a comfortable seated position where you can sit upright and you can relax your shoulders your knees your hands and please close your eyes and if closing your eyes are uncomfortable please have a soft gaze to something in front of you. So once you close your eyes, allow this turning inward becomes a ritual, a ritual to enter into the source within. Hmm. become aware of the physical body aware of your legs your sit bones aware of the spine your shoulders your arms aware of your head aware of the gravity so we working with the gravity by giving in to gravity so the gravity create a sense of downward pull so that the hips and the legs can increasingly feel a sense of stable stable stability and steadiness and with that steadiness of your hips and your legs allow a, a sense of freedom and elongation of the spine upwards towards the sky and become become more and more aware of the presence of the breath so start paying attention to the inhalation and the exhalation the movement the sound the texture
elongating the breath. And those of you who are familiar with Diaga and Ujjayi breath, you can layer your breath with Diaga and Ujjayi breath if you are not familiar with these breaths. And so simply lengthening, taking longer and deeper inhale and taking your time with the exhalation, so making the exhalation longer and deeper and slower. And then slowly bringing your hands to Anjali Mudra. You know, let your breath return to its natural rhythm and natural pace. And with your hands cupped together, let this be a gesture of your commitment to becoming present, present to this body present to this breath. And there, if there is an intention for your practice, take a moment to set that intention. And then gently bow towards yourself, so lowering your head towards your heart. And then hinging forward, and place your hands on the ground, lower your head towards the ground. So a deeper bow to the earth. And then slowly sitting up tall again, let your hands rest on your thighs. Well, do just simple neck roll so turning your head towards your left and then slowly lower your head back to center and then turning your head to the right so back and forth turning your head to look over your left shoulder slowing down the breath turning your head center and then head look towards your right and then lift your gaze look up towards the sky and then exhale turn your gaze look down towards the floor we'll do the same thing again look up towards the sky and then a deep exhale look down towards the ground release your hands to the side lifting your head Slide your hand, your right hand to the side and then lifting your left arm up. Move into a level stretch. Inhale, lifting. Back to center, exhale. Glide your hand, your left hand. And then reach your right arm to the side, level stretch. We'll repeat this two more times. Inhale, center, exhale. Lateral stretch. Inhale, center, and then exhale to the other side. One last round. So coordinating breath with movement. Inhale, lift, and then exhale. Lateral stretch. Inhale, center, exhale, bring your hands back onto your lap. Take a moment of pause, close your eyes. We'll do a simple twist. So elongating the spine with an inhalation and an exhale, twisting to your right. And then just turning your head side to side. So looking over at your shoulder, 
and then exhale turn your head to look to the back inhale one more time look over to your front shoulder and then exhale turn to the back inhale come back to center and then exhale to the other side so same thing turning your head to look over your front shoulder and then exhale turn your head to look to the back inhale look over the front shoulder and then exhale to the back and then inhale center we'll continue with the twist but this time we'll reach the arms all the way up exhale twist to your right inhale center reaching your arms all the way up exhale twist to the other side inhale center exhale twist inhale center and then exhale twist last time inhale center exhale twist inhale center and then exhale twist and then inhale center bring your hands back on your lap and then close your eyes take a moment of pause and then gently open your eyes and as you exhale this time rounding your back drop your head your chin towards your chest and then as you inhale begin to lift your torso bring your hands behind resting your fingers on the ground and then lift your chest into arching your back look up to the sky and then exhale hands back onto the knees rounding your back inhale lifting slide your palms your hands behind arching your back one more set exhale rounding and then inhale lifting We'll stay with the arching of the back for a couple more breaths. So lifting the chest. And then inhale, drop your chin back to chest and return your hands back on your knees. Take a moment of pause. And then gently open your eyes, leaning forward. Bring your cushion to the side and then bring your hands behind open your knees open your feet wide and windshield wipers your knees and when the knees come to the right side I'm going to shift over and turn your whole legs and your torso onto the ground and come into sphinx position so elbows directly under your shoulders elbows are about shoulder width apart extending your legs behind and begin to rest your hips your belly and your lower ribs to the ground. Now, if you have a blanket or a cushion, some of you may, you may want to try putting the blanket under your belly. For some of us, this may feel comfortable, more comfortable. So you can try that. And if it's not comfortable, you could also just remove your blanket. And we'll stay in Sphinx for a few long, deep breaths. So the legs are about shoulder width apart. And before you settle in, maybe even try bringing your elbows forward or elbows back and finding that sweet spot where you can hang and rest. And dropping your chin slightly towards your chest. And then focus. on the belly breath so you're breathing in and out allow the breath to go long and steady and sensing the 
the gravity, the pulling of the gravity again. So your legs becoming more and more heavy towards the ground. And there's a sense of a gradual letting go towards the earth. Those of you who are familiar with Dirga and Ujjayi breath, I invite you to layer your breath with Dirga and Ujjayi. Those of you who are not familiar with these breaths, just simply begin to lengthen and slow down the breath. Sometimes it takes a while to completely let go. Just notice what parts of the body you're still holding on, you're still tensing. So just a couple more deep inhale and exhale. So you're allowing the body to meet the gravity, the pull of the gravity. Next time when you exhale, you're going to bend the right knee and slide the right knee out to the side. So, and then readjusting so that the ankle is directly under your knee at a 90 degree angle, and your knee is about hip height. And then turn the elbows out, stack one hand on top of the other, and resting your chin on your hand or resting the side of your face on the hand. So choose what, which one is comfortable. Moving into half frog. Again, slowing down the breath. And you may close your eyes and focusing on the breath to do the deep breath in and out and notice if the back body there's movement in your back body as you breathe in and out imagining with each exhalation the left leg is lengthening so there's a sense of lengthening of the whole left leg from your waist to your toes and then the same imagining the there's a lengthening of your right leg your right thigh a lengthening there's a little bit more space in your right hip Hmm. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. One more deep breath in. And then a deep breath out. And let's do that one more time. A deep breath in. And this time as you exhale, exhale through your mouth. The next inhalation, extend your right leg back and shift to moving your left leg out, half frog on the other side. So extending your right leg now directly behind you your left leg bending at a 90 degree angle and the ankle moving the ankle directly under the knee and 
either your chin on your fore your hands or turning your face to one side and closing your eyes and focusing on deep belly breath or deep dirga breath and paying attention to see if there's some relaxation in your back body and a relaxation of your thighs notice if there's some movements in your lower back as you breathe in and out Keep focusing on the breath and listening to the elongation of the breath. The next few breaths and just become curious if your uh, inhalation is longer or your exhalation is longer. And perhaps moving, first matching your inhalation and exhalation the same length. And then maybe moving also towards where your exhalation is longer than your inhalation. Next time you inhale, take a deeper inhale again. And then exhale through your mouth. We'll do that one more time. Deep inhale. And then exhale through your mouth. And then next inhalation, slowly extend your left leg back, both legs extended behind you, and rest your face or your chin on your hands one more time. And take a moment of pause and just notice how you feel. One deep inhale and a deep exhale. Ha. <sighs> Let the belly get heavier. Your whole front body, front top of your legs gets heavier and heavier into the earth. And then slowly you know, turn around onto your back. So taking your time to adjust. This is also a good time to have your blanket nearby and or your cushion and your cushion nearby so that we'll move into we'll slowly move into Shavasana as well. So once you are settled in your back, draw your knees to your chest and hug the knees to chest and gently rock side to side. And as you rock side to side, become aware of your back and your neck and the back of your head. So as you rock side to side, so you can relax the back, relax your neck, and relax your head. And 
And then reach down for your feet into Baddha Konasana, Sutta Baddha Konasana. So feet are together, clasp your feet. And holding on to the feet, elbows slightly bent. And draw the feet closer and closer towards your belly. Next exhalation, extend your legs up, arms up, and move into a dead bug. So allow the shoulders to relax and the buttocks to relax, and the arms and legs are suspended in the sky or in the air, in the space. Let's do first just a gentle rolling of the ankles and your wrists. And then rolling the other side. Let your arms and legs come to stillness. And then hug your knees to your chest and gently rock side to side. Next time when you rock to your right side, let the knees float to the ground. To the right, come into supine twist, uh, supine mysandrasana. And turning your head to the left shoulder, making any micro movements so that both shoulders are comfortable. Continue to slow down the breath. Bring awareness to the movement of the ribs and the belly as you breathe in and out. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders. A couple more deep breaths, focusing, exhaling longer and slower. Next inhalation, draw your knees back to your chest, hug the knees and rock sideways, gently side to side again. Next time when the knees come to the opposite side, let the knees float back down. Turning your head over to your right shoulder. And again, making those movements, micro movements, so that you feel a sense of resting. Shoulders are relaxed, your hips are relaxed. Relax your neck, relax your head. And you're drawing your attention, continue to place your attention on your breath. Notice the length of the inhalation the length of the exhalation. Notice the movement of the body as you inhale and exhale.
notice the the weight of the body notice the neck the weight of the head using the exhalation to let go of any holdings let it go and give it to the earth let the earth hold you And next inhalation, slowly draw knees back to chest again. Hug the knees to chest and gently rock side to side. And next exhalation, bring your feet onto the earth, knees are bent. Open your arms out by your side. And then slowly placing both hands on top of your belly. Bring your attention to your belly as you breathe in and out. So noticing the rise and fall of the belly, taking deliberately taking deep inhale. And then a deep exhale. Relax your arms, relax your head. And one more time, deep inhale and deep exhale. And then slowly bring your hands up and cross your arms, hold on to the side of the ribs. And as you hug the sides of the ribs with your hands, the same thing, just bring awareness to your breath and awareness of movement of breath. You notice the ribs moving out and up as you inhale and then as you exhale the relaxation of the ribs we'll do that one more time deep inhale and then deep exhale and then opening your arms placing your hands on your chest We'll do the same thing in the last part of this breath, breathing conscious breath practice, breathing into your chest. And then as you exhale, relax your chest. So become aware of your breath, aware of the movement of the chest as you inhale and exhale. Next, exhalation, relax your arms out by your side, turning your palms up and slowly extending one leg at a time towards the floor or legs are wider than hip width apart and we'll get ready for Shavasana so this is a good time if you need to bring a blanket to cover yourself bring a cushion perhaps under your knees to support your knees or placing a cushion on top of your belly and let the weight of the cushion create some comfort on top of your belly as you rest in shavasana and we'll practice uh, body awareness uh, as we move deeper and deeper into the relaxation. So once you settle in into Shavasana, corpse pose, become and then drawing your attention to your feet. Become aware of your feet, aware of the weight of your feet. And then moving your attention upwards towards your ankles, become aware of the ankles, aware of the weight of the ankles. 
and become aware of the shin bones, aware of the calves, and aware of the weight of the shin bones and the calves. Become aware of your knees, aware of the space in your knees, aware of the weight of your knees, and become aware of your thigh bones, aware of the weight of the thigh bones. Aware of your hips, your pelvis. Aware of the weight of the hips, the pelvis. Aware of the sacrum. Aware of your lower back, your mid back, and your upper back. Aware of your belly your sternum, aware of your chest, aware of your shoulders, aware of your arms, aware of your wrists, aware of your hands. Aware of your neck, Aware of the back of your head, aware of your face, aware of your eyes, your tongue, your jaw, aware of the whole head and aware of the crown. And aware of the whole body from your crown all the way down to your toes, aware of the weight of the body, and aware of the ground, the earth, aware of the support of the earth, aware of the downward pull of the gravity. Aware of your breath, the natural rhythm of your breath, the inhale, there's a natural pause, and then your exhale in a natural pause, and the cycle of breath. Become aware of the cycle of breath. And then resting your mind in your awareness.
Next inhalation, take a deep inhale. And then exhale through your mouth. And gently roll your head side to side. And add a, some movements to your hands and your feet. And gently stretch your arms upward. And hug your knees towards your chest and gently rock side to side. And then roll over to one side and stay in a fetal position for a few more breaths. And with your eyes still closed, and just focus on your awareness, focus your awareness on the back, on your back and notice any movements as you inhale and exhale. So we're still placing attention on breath. And listening to the texture, the sound, the feeling of the breath. And then use your top arm and slowly press up into a seated position and taking your time to find your seat. And getting any props you need to sit up tall. And close your eyes. If closing your eyes not comfortable, have a soft gaze. become aware of the physical body again and notice your seat finding stera and sukham steadiness and sweetness or comfort in your posture and slowly draw your hands into anjali mudra and become aware of the texture between your hands aware of the space between your hands aware of your breath and place in that space between your palms the intention you set for your class Trusting this silence or the stillness as the bridge into your inner source for nourishment, for restorative practices, for restoring your energy and coming to the sense of calm and peace and harmony. Let's join our voices together in the sound of Om. Take a deep breath in. Om. Bowing towards yourself. Then a deeper bow to the earth. And then gently lifting your gaze and bowing to you. Namaste. And thank you so much for your practice, your presence and your attention and your time. And most of all, thank you so much for your donation. And part of the proceeds will be donated to Gwen's Girls. 
if you'd like to find out more information about this organization, you can go to blessfest.org and read about them.